I look at my art now, and especially having participated more in zine fests and those types of events, I see the correlation between my style and a very graphic style, and partly inspired by street art. Um, of course, the heavy black line event originally came from the uh, stained, stained glass windows, and so it's interesting to see how this reliance on heavy black lines to suggest an image really gets picked up by comics. I, I really like the idea of taking something that we think we understand, the idea of the kind of a more kind of illustrative um, mode and uh, using it to depict images that you'd never see in comic books or in advertising or in other types of art that would use that caricature type of form. Um, that said, I generally resist the idea of describing my work as caricature. Um, what I do is I take away a lot of lines to provide maybe what is a gesture or the sense of the person I looked at. Um, and I think that really in terms of whether or not that's risky, that's a great question because I just drew these drawings because that's what I want them to look like. But when I think about my art in the context of the expectations, particularly of the African American audience for images, I think it feels risky to some viewers, um, largely because we've had to be very protective of our images. Um, the best received images by African American viewing audiences are those that really rely more on a very realistic style, photorealism or old master style. And there's a lot of suspicion, I think, around images that deploy, say, the Victorian cutouts, like Carol Walker, or the uh, graphic design kind of heavy black line that I use. And so I think that it looks graphic, not necessarily caricature, um, but I think that there, I think there's risk inherent in any type of representation of black people that isn't based on a kind of old master or photorealistic style based on a sitting model. I teach African American literary history and I do a lot of research in 19th century and early 20th century images and so I understand where that concern comes from. Um, and I'm, I'm very respectful of that. Um, but I do, I want to encourage African Americans to be different readers of black images than we may have been in the past and to take some risks not just in the kind of art we make but in the way that we view art and to take down some barriers, especially when we're looking at art made within the community, and maybe broaden our sense of it. Um, you know, I was uh, writing recently about the good, um, good black images model of consuming art and film, that, uh, you know, you need someone to look like a good role model or act like a positive image. Um, and that becomes the most conservative and uncomplicated notion. Generally the black bourgeoisie, generally not too comic, um, and generally um, not very, uh, not a, no, no one at the margins. And so I feel that um, in the way that we look at television, in the way that we look at film, and in the way that we look at black produced art, real freedom is the ability to find something to enjoy in art that isn't necessarily about instructing the mainstream about what we are.